What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another episode of YouTube FC. This is the third and final instalment of me playing Jose Mourinho's Top 11, which of course you can find the link to in the App Store on both iOS and Android in the description below. Today I am playing against the team of Spencer FC. So you can see a very similar game on his channel. Again, link will be in the description below. Thank you to Spencer for agreeing to play a friendly, a friend, a friendly a friendly game against me on uh, Jose Mourinho's top 11. Now, previously, we played against Bateson and It's Fangs, and we built a team of YouTubers, uh, hence the name YouTube FC, and I stuck with the same team as before. So we've still got Toby in goal, Calfreeze at left back, Harry, at, Harry and Zerka at centre back, with AJ Thief, AJ3 FIFA at right back. I've gone for Ethan Castro, a.k.a. Fatstro, A9 skills, and Spencer FC himself, in the squad. A little bit of conflict of interest there as Spencer FC takes on the man himself. And then myself and KSI up front with players like Bateson, Zwayback, Chris Move, Cap Gun, Tom, Mini Minter, Matt HD Gamer, and Nick 28T in the in the reserves. Now, just to show you guys a little bit what's gone on in my club in the meantime between the game against Jesse a few weeks back and now, I'm actually having a really, really good league run. Um, we're halfway through the season almost halfway through the season, and I've got 32 points from 12 games. So it's been a very, very successful league for me, and I'm as yet unbeaten. So 10 wins, 2 draws, no losses. We're doing very well. And one of the people on my friend's, uh, my friend's list there, Johnson FC, he is not having the best run of luck. He's got no wins, 1 draw, and 11 uh, losses. Now in the cup, unfortunately, guys, for me, the cup wasn't so good. I have to go back all the way back to the preliminary rounds where I lost 2-1 and 4-0 to Pretty AC, who then went out themselves to Atletico Madrid, who then uh, went all the way through to the top 16. They lost to Lion King FC, who are in the quarterfinals. And um, yeah, I just I got I, I just didn't have a good cut run, basically. My cut run ended in game number one. However, we've been focusing a lot of our attention so far on the Champions League. So in the group stages of the Champions League, guys, I got five wins, one draw, and no losses, picking up 18 goals and only conceding six. You can see the results on the screen right now. I had a very, very comfortable uh, route through. I was already through after the fifth game. You know, we drew the last game, not really much of a problem. In the final 16, we were up against a Sekarat FC. So if you guys are interested to keep up on how we go through in the Champions League, let me know in the comment section below and I'll tweet out uh, updates as to how I'm doing through the Champions League if I can get through to the quarters, the semis and the finals. Now we we'll go back to the squad guys. Squad's pretty decent. I still stick with the 4-4-2. For me, this is the best formation in this uh, in this app. I have varied with a fair few formations. Um, one of the well, a couple of the best players that we've got on the team is is actually JJ. His stats are very good. 38 goals in 41 club uh, in league matches, five and six uh, Champions League matches, and five and 15 cup matches over the course uh, of of the the. Um, the career, which isn't too bad. Then we've got uh, myself, the Nepo Monster, and uh, he's got 27 goals in 31 league matches with three in five cup match uh, Champions League matches. I haven't really scored many in the Champions League and eight in 12 uh, cup matches, which isn't so bad. But one of the stars of this team is actually Ethan. Now, he, he scored the first goal against Fangs in the last... Uh, the last video we made but look at this out from the left hand side guys he's got 29 goals in 38 league games which is phenomenal from the left mid two two goals in six champions league matches over his career and two goals in 14 cup matches now as you could probably see we don't do the best in cups we don't score many goals we don't get very far but this is a team we're going to go against uh, spencer fc guys of course as i said before if you do want to get this app link will be in the description below let's get into the game Okay guys, into the game we go and as per usual, if you missed the first two episodes, I do explain a hell of a lot more about the transfer system, the training system, the squad selection and the tactics, how they all work. Uh, so check those links out. I will try and put those links in the description as well guys. A lot of links in the description to click, but they're very informative videos that really help you understand how the app works. Now before we get into this game, Spencer is playing a 5-1-2-2-1 or a 5-3-3, sorry, a 4-3-3. Um, or maybe a 4-1-2-2-1 or a 4-1-2-3. It's a very interesting formation. Um, so he's gone for a team of uh, legends, I, I guess. Um, he's got Zarate in there. He's got Garinka, uh, Loco, McManamum, Edgar Davids, Michael Owen playing at CDM. Very interesting. He's got some dicks there at left back. He's got Neville Moore in the team um, and uh, Ned Stark at goalkeeper. Brilliant. Um, 
So uh, it's it's an interesting team. It, you know, the formations are going to clash quite interestingly. He's got a much more dominant midfield than me, but hopefully my attack can uh, can break him down. You can see at the start already, um, we're kind of uh, dominating the possession, as you would expect. Unfortunately uh, for Spencer, he hasn't been playing this app as long as me, so my team is considerably better. But from what I've learned from uh, the app and how the game plays, in friendly games, the level of team isn't particular, particularly important. Um, you know, you'll see the one-star teams beat the six or seven-star teams quite commonly in friendly games. I guess it's more to understand how the match engine works or, or it's more to get the bonuses that you get from the friendly games because you actually get the, um, you know, the fitness, the morale and the healing cards from playing the friendlies, which isn't too bad. So uh, here we go with the first goal as well, guys. There we go. It is AA9 skills with the goal, KSI with the assist. We go 1-0 up and, of course, the possession is very, very... Uh, uh, good in our favor right now corners is quite even shots is actually quite even as I said before the friendly games aren't necessarily um, like they're not necessarily one-sided if the teams are one-sided so Spencer's had a fair few shots six shots to my five I've made two saves to his one I've only had two shots on target to his three and he's putting in a hell of a lot more tackles than me as well so things are looking good for Spencer doesn't necessarily mean he's going to end up getting back into the game but Dix puts the ball upfield interesting terminology there and the, the match seems to be settling down a little bit and uh, yeah we're, we're going into the 30th minute now one goal to the good potentially a chance coming up here as well boys we've got some uh, some action in the game uh, Harry has cleared the ball for us. Nothing doing though. And we're, we're kind of getting towards that half-time mark and, and nothing's really changed after the first goal. You know, I've had a little bit more possession again and we've moved from 60 to 62%. The shots are still very even. There's been little action since I last uh, last left you guys and got, coming into the half-time whistle, nothing's really happened. But we might have a goal here for Spencer. Loco went through. He can finish it all by himself. Dix is alone. He gets the ball and there is the goal. Loco to Dix. His left back has ended up putting it in the back of the net to tie this game 1-1 as we look to move towards half-time whistle. And uh, yeah, you know, it, 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 I can't say it's undeserved. Although we've dominated in um, in possession, Spencer FC has had a lot of shots. You see his shot target, his shot bar go up even further there. Ten shots to our seven now. Maybe we need to change our tactics a little bit and um, start having a look at what we can do for for getting a few more shots on the board do you know what i mean just getting a few more shots so we've got an attacking team mentality we want to focus passing uh, let's do a mixed focus passing um, i definitely want to start pressing him in his own is in his half and um why why not why not go hard attacking and really try and dominate the the rest of this game and see what we can get out of it but here we are at half time guys it is 1-1 one, one. um not too bad of a half there guys and uh, we'll see what the second half brings so as I did say, guys, I have gone hard attacking now, which means we could probably get caught on the counter quite a lot. But we got a long ball through to J uh, KSI there. It looks interesting. He can solve everything by himself. He unleashes the shot. He scores the goal, and KSI has gone in a solo effort there, boys. We go 2-1 up. That is fantastic stuff and uh, rightly deserved as well with the amount of possession we've had. We go back in the lead. Oh, we could get we could get to 2-2 uh, two, two straight away. Row to Shaw with a godlike tackle there, stopping that from coming in. And um, hopefully we can see this match out now. Get maybe a third and a fourth goal. Maybe I could get on the, on, the, uh, on the score sheet myself as well. That'd be pretty sweet. But right now, there's a lot of action in this game. I think going hard attacking has really caused uh, the game to open up. And Zarate's got the shot there. Ricochets off the boot of AJ3 FIFA. It's gone out for a corner kick. And the action really is like heating up here in this second half. Uh, Toby Lerone has intervened and the chance has gone awry for Spencer FC. And it is 2-1 with 30 minutes left to play. There's a few free kick takers. AJ3 FIFA strikes it around the wall. Oh, Stark with the save. We'll take another corner. We're starting to dominate a little bit now, boys. Cross is put in high. Stark comes off his uh, line, uses his hands. The corners are even. The possession is still heavily in my favor. Um, the total shots are kind of evening up now. Oh, there's a goal as well. Spencer himself has scored against Spencer FC. It is the ultimate disrespect, guys. The ultimate disrespect as, as uh, Spencer himself gets the third goal. He puts the nail in the coffin for Spencer FC. And that goal came out of absolutely nowhere as well. I was rattling off the stats. And out of nowhere, the goal comes in. And uh, as you can see, no assist either. So, uh, yeah, happy days there. The shots have evened up. Everything's kind of evened up on the stats side of things. And Nepo Monster, myself, I get a goal in off the bar. And that has completely 
ended any chance of Spencer FC getting back into this game. We went 1-0 up in the first half. Jay Dix for Spencer FC leveled it up at 1-1. Shortly after the half, we get a goal from KSI. 66 minutes in, Spencer scores. And then 72 minutes in, I score a goal for myself. And 4-1 there, it's going to be hard to come back from this, if at all. But a goal here could really put the uh, spanner in the works. It hasn't done anything, I'm afraid. And 4-1, it looks to remain as we go into the final 15 minutes of the game. And we're into the 90th minute now, guys. Uh, we've got a couple of yellow cards on the side of Spencer FC. He's losing his head a little bit there, uh, McManaman and, uh, and Owen as well. And we get a goal in the 90th minute. AJ3 FIFA has put it in the back of the net to make it 5-1. And um, it's, it's a deserved victory, I guess. But when you look at the actual stats, what we got there, we got 38K for the ticket income. We got 10.3K from the merchandising is nice. We got two um, fitness cards and one healing card, which is fantastic. Um, in terms of ratings, mad ratings. Um, who got the man of the match there? We've got a few increases in ability as well for Ethan and A9 skills there. And wow, can you believe the man of the match goes to Spencer himself. Unbelievable. He gets man of the match against his own team. So when we look at the statistics, guys, when we look at the statistics, we have got ourselves 62% possession to his 38, seven corners to his eight, even there. Shots relatively even as well. 18 from us, 15 from him. Saves two each keeper. 11 shots on target for me and five on target for him. And that is where the difference came in. We put far more shots on target and it ended up converting into far more goals. Tackles was even. Shot efficiency is better in my favor. He made way more fouls as well. Passing was even. Yellow cards is kind of irrelevant. I had way more free kicks because of those fouls. No red cards each. So I end up getting a 5-1 win against Spencer FC, guys. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. If you want to share uh, this game with me, if you want to play this game with me, there will be a link to my not personal Facebook so you can add me and we can play together on my second account, which I do have, which I play with you guys with. Um, don't forget to check out uh, Top 11. Link will be in the description. And Spencer FC, link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace. For all my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And they have brand new methods to transfer your coins over to your account in record time. Use the discount code NEPO at checkout.